important thing anyone can be because if you don't have life, you don't have anything, and it's such a gift from God that we should all be protecting it, supporting it, and looking out for those who are the, the most vulnerable of us. So this is just a great experience, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. When you look at this Verizon Center filled with young people, and you know that across town we have another center, a Comcast, filled with people. And we're going to have hundreds of thousands of young people on the street today. Each one of them is a sign of hope. The path to the attainment of the common good and to peace is above all that of respect for human life in all its many aspects, beginning with its conception, to its development, and up to its natural end. The greatest civil rights battle of all time is not just taking place out there. It's taking place in here. Before we can change laws, we have to change hearts, beginning with our own. Before pro-life can be a political agenda, it has to become a personal agenda. Before we can take on the culture of death, we have to become a part of the culture of life. For 40 years, people have come to this city and marched. For 40 years, people have braved the worst weather imaginable to protest, to march, to say to our leaders, this law is unjust. It is bad for mothers, it is bad for fathers, it's bad for families. And we know so well it is bad for children. We must overturn this law. The value of life is something young people appreciate. And I think growingly, statistics show across this country, more and more and more of our young people are saying, taking innocent human life is not the answer to the problems we face. We live to love.